Hello everyone, I'm Centero Centero and today I'm going to be showing you Mafia 3's options menu and taking a look at some of the performance on GTX 750 Ti, GTX 950, GTX 1060 and MD Radeon RX 460. So to start, as you can see I launched the game. Here's the launcher. The game, this game has a very simple launcher with music in the background. So we go with the options. And this is the same options menu we have in game. So we have full screen on or off, resolution up to 4K, as you can see, B Sync on or off. Then we have the global quality preset low, medium, high. It doesn't allow us to see how the configuration is or optimal. And then we have custom. And as you can see, we have ambient occlusion low, medium, or high. That's it. Motion blur on or off. Geometry detail low, medium or high, shadow quality high, low, low, medium, high, reflections low, medium or high, volumetric effects low, medium or high, and then anti aliasing we have low, medium or high. There are a couple of things missing here. I think that fulfilled is in game too. But after using this menu, for some reason it didn't change in game. It just, I don't know, just reset the settings for me. But anyway, for which ones cause the highest performance drop, for the most part is, I mean, occlusion is not much of a big FPS hit, motion blur is, for some reason, then geometry detail, keeping it on medium was the best thing for the 750 Ti, 950 and 460, then shadow quality, it, it didn't affect the performance that much, that surprised me a lot. So even if I lower this to low, it wasn't really much of a difference in performance. Then reflection quality, this is a big FPS hit. As you can see, we have high, medium and low. I suggest using medium or low, since it's a big FPS hit. And then volumetric effects, it's a big hit too, when those effects showed, showed up. And then anti aliasing we have high, medium or low. I suggest keeping this on low, no matter what. Let me explain you why. When you keep it on high, the game looks blurrier than, than with anti-aliasing on low. It's kind of weird. I don't know what kind of anti-aliasing they used, but it seems to be just blurry in the game out. It seems some kind of temporal thing, some temporal anti-aliasing, but it doesn't look that good in motion. So that's why some people are calling upscaling in this game, but we don't know yet, so we should wait for that to be sort it out, or at least explained, because we don't have any idea about that. And then, as you can see, before before going on, just going to the community hub for Mafia 3, and here it says a message for our PC players. Uh, let's see what this is all about. We currently have a patch running here at the studio, sorry, that includes 30, 60 and unlimited frame rate options in the video menu along with other improvements among other improvements for the pc version of mafia 3 we're verifying the patch now to ensure everything is working as expected if everything goes well we expect the update to go live this weekend so we are friday maybe tomorrow or in a couple of days we're going to get a a patch that fixes that for us i uh, will keep in the pc community up to date blah blah blah, blah. okay so Maybe on the weekend we're going to get a patch, we don't know yet, but um, so far the game is running poorly on most of my cards, so let me tell you a little about that. Right now I'm going to show you those four cards, and I will also do separate videos with three resolutions on each card, so you can have an idea of the, of the performance. Once the patch goes live, I'll do those videos again but using a simulated i5 instead of a simulated i3 for the 460, 750 Ti and 950 since the game seems to need more than an i3 in order to maintain more than 30 fps so as you can see now on screen I'm testing the GTX 750 Ti with some overclocking as you can see when driving is when I had the worst frame rate for the most part as you can see but once I'm going into the street, the GPU usage is not actually that high and the frame rate is more stable. 
Here I didn't have any ammo, I tried to get some from the police, but for some reason when I knock out the police or kill them, what the hell, I the weapons just disappear from their hands, so I cannot pick them up for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. As you can see, there's no shotgun in the floor. But yeah, for 1080p, I suggest using the lowest setting with some drops below 30 FPS when you are driving and all that kind of stuff. But I suggest using 900p with a mix between medium and low instead. So yeah, as you can see there, I'm getting wrecked. And there I died. So let's now jump into the 950. This will be a very brief look at the game on all those cards. As you can see, it's 1080p. FOB can go up to 90 and as low as 60 or 55 if I remember correctly. The problem with this game is right now is that it's capped at 30 FPS, so you cannot go anything higher than 30 FPS. So you can see I'm in occlusion on high, motion blur off, geometry detail on medium, as I said before, shadows on high since they don't do much of an impact to the frame rate, and then reflections on low since those are the most demanding things I saw in the game, and volumetric effects too. And then anti-aliasing on medium, but I suggest keeping it on low. And as you can see now, while, while I'm driving, there are some drops below 30 FPS, but it seems to be mostly due to the CPU in this case, since it goes, it ramps up up to 95%, and there is when I see the FPS drops, and the GPU usage is not over 90%, so it doesn't seem to be due to the GPU in that case, those small drops, as you can see there. But the game is playable, that's what matters. A lot of people are f are angry about the 30 FPS cap. I I am too since PC gaming is all about options. So for the sake of options, I <laughs> I have to disagree with what the developers are doing with this game. Just keep this in mind. They say, oh yeah, we're going to patch it in a, in a couple of days. Stay calm. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, they say that, but I mean, why not not delay the game a couple extra days instead for the PC version if they only had to. <laughs> Uncap the frame rate and why didn't they tell us at least a month or two in advance they told us like 12 hours before the game was first released so PC gamer or some of the reviewers found out that the, the There was an FPS cap everybody Just got grace in the steam forums and the steam community and they said oh, yeah, it's just the day one patch We are fixing it soon. Yeah soon and then they say, yeah, we're going to fix this for for the for the weekend. If everything goes well, we already have the patch. We have to test it out a little more. Well, that's not how you do things, if you ask me. That's a very bad move from the publisher and developer. Because, I don't know, was it so hard to just delay a couple of days in order to get unlocked frame rates? I mean, you, you know that when there are locked frame rates, people won't buy your game. And if they are going to buy it, it will be just like, I don't know, at discounted prices or just waiting for patches, which shouldn't be that way. I mean, you give bad reputation to PC gaming. Anyway, now to the 460, as you can see, I'm going to use higher settings. I'm going to use the same settings as the 950 for the most part, 1080p. Uh, the uh, depth of field off, then shadows on medium, reflections on low, volumetric effects on low. I had to use a little lower settings, but as you can see here, I'm getting uh, way more drops below 30 FPS. It goes from 20 to 30. That seems to be to the, due to the CPU. The RX 460 uses more CPU than the GTX 950 and GTX 750 Ti. So, that's my theory on why the game runs so poorly on the AMD card. But just remember that this game is also pretty much from NVIDIA in some way, since when you launch the game you can see the NVIDIA logo when it starts. So I suspect that that's the game runs better on NVIDIA, plus AMD uses more CPU in order to make everything run. You know drivers and such. AMD has worst drivers, for saying it some way, and this is not a DirectX 12 title. So it's expected the game to run worse. So I suggest if you have an AMD card to have a better CPU or an i3 6100. This is this should be a little worse than an i3 6100. 
I'm simulating an i3 in some way. I'm just I just took my took my i7 4790 and entered to the BIOS. Enabled two cores only with hyper threading, hyper threading, and uh, I disabled to boost, so it's as close as possible to the i3. I know it's not the same. You don't have to repeat me that in the comment section down below. But it's very close. I mean, it's better than i3 4150, but it's worse than i3 6100, so keep that in mind. But as you can see, when we are in close quarters combat or just not driving, you're fine. So it has to be a CPU thing in this case. So I'll test it properly with uh, an i5. But as you can see, we're getting a lot of screen tearing, <laughs> which is terrible. But uh, you can just enable vSync and you'll be fine. Trust me on this one. But yeah, the 460 is still playable, just, just about a CPU. Okay, so now we're jumping into the 1060. As you can see, 1080p, depth of field on, FOV 75 degrees, full screen, vSync off, Amino on high, motion blur off, geometry on high, everything on high pretty much, but motion blur turned off. And anti-aliasing on medium, since the game looks blurrier with anti-aliasing on high, I don't know what's up with that. So let's now start driving. But yeah, I'm using here an i5 simulated in some way, so the i7 I just disabled hyper-threading. So we have four cores and four threads, like an i5, but it's not the same. I will say it's closer to an i5 for the 690K, so keep that in mind. But as you can see, it still uses a lot of CPU. Now it just dropped to 60% usage, but the 1060 is just chilling there. We're getting 60% usage for the most part, with pretty much high settings, which is not bad at all. And we are using 2.7 gigabytes of VRAM. So if you have a 3 gig GTX 1060, you should be fine with these settings. If you're like 1060 3 gigabytes, you should be getting this performance that you're seeing right now, since the game doesn't use over 3 gigabytes of VRAM. One other thing I didn't like about this PC port, we don't have uh, texture quality options, which is terrible. I mean, a lot of people are complaining about texture quality. In my opinion, it's not bad but it's good to fa have options if you have a lower end gpu you can use worse textures i don't know something like that and there should be more options i mean there are not enough options in my opinion you should be able to lower the shadows more since keeping the shadows on high is fine but once you lower them to medium or low the performance is almost the same and the game doesn't look that different on low in comparison to high which doesn't make any sense that, in my opinion, is just console port, since they do only one version of the game and they just do a small tweaks on the on the game in order to make the options menu. So, in my opinion, this smells like lazy. <laughs> I mean, they sh should have made a better options menu. And one other awful thing that happened to me, the game crashed a lot. I mean, I played like three hours and I got like 11 crashes. 11! <laughs> Those happen when changing settings, resolution, and sometimes when skipping cutscenes, the game just crashed for no reason, no error message, anything, just crashed in, just <laughs> into the desktop without any explanation of, of what was happening. And that doesn't make sense, I mean, 11 crashes in 3 hours, you can see how pissed I was when that happened. <laughs> I mean, it was like 5am, I finished all the recording, I went to sleep, now it is... 12, uh, 12 p.m. So we are, I'm fine now. <laughs> I got some sleep and I can cover this with my mind clean, but I don't know guys, this is not a good port. I'm really disappointed. I expected way more from the Mafia franchise with this new studio. They should have made a, a good job with the PC port and the game doesn't look that good to justify the, its performance. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.